out here. Oh. It's just, and why wouldn't we do this in the studio? I'm having a hard time seeing you. Why Steve. am I wearing gloves? Like that you're wearing warm gloves and I'm wearing yeah. these late or whatever gloves. Uh, that spill on I-25, the sulfuric acid spill, was a perfect opportunity for teachers around the, uh, the Denver metro area to talk to kids about sulfuric acid, especially those chemistry teachers. Mm -hmm. So I brought you some sulfuric acid to be okay. able to show you some of the properties. Now, concentrated sulfuric acid is 18 molar. And, um, what it, does that mean? It just it's the, it indicates the strength. Okay. And by itself, um, chemists, believe it or not, consider it a pretty weak acid. It's only when it gets around water that it gets to be pretty dangerous. And that's what the danger was on I-25 it being around any water. Okay. So watch this, I'll show you a kind of a classic science demonstration. This is powdered sugar. So I have powdered sugar in the beaker, and so that's all I'm using here is powdered sugar. But powdered sugar has um, uh, a water molecule associated with it, 11 of them in fact. Okay. So here's our sulfuric acid. So you got your gloves, or your, gla your glasses, glasses on and so on. forth. So I'm gonna pour the sulfuric acid inside like this, and now mix it around, and you can start to see the reaction almost instantaneously. And then all of a sudden you'll see it turn very black very fast and then it'll be like a s'more so here kind of watch the reaction oh there so you see how it starts to turn this way oh and it stinks yeah oh there there <laughs> is that so there's our uh, fumes coming off and you'll actually see it start to decompose and so as it starts to come up and decompose Holy take a look at this wow is that just amazing wow so you start to see that moisture coming off Kind of like when you're at 4th at, uh, uh, of July, you know, and you've got one of those things. Honestly, you're done having kids, aren't you? So, oh, yeah. so the fumes are, are pretty, yeah, Steve, exactly. Appreciate so that. look at what it did. It dehydrated it. So literally all okay. we have left is carbon. Isn't that an amazing wow. thing? So, so we worry the, about that. What was, the, what was the danger with this and cars then? Well, if it gets on the car, it's very, very corrosive um, it, when, once it comes in contact with water. So they use it. I mean, it's the, the most uh, used industrial chemical. There's more sulfuric acid made than any other industrial chemical. The other thing that they're concerned about is what it mixes with. And so it would have mixed with this particular material here, but they always, the first responders are always worried about what another chemical might touch. So this, for example, is sugar, so regular mm -hmm. table sugar, and a strong oxidizer. They're kind of like the heads of a match, you know, the white part of the match. And so okay. I have that there. It's called potassium chloride. Here, here's the power of just a single drop of sulfuric acid. So I'm just going to use one little drop of sulfuric acid. Watch this. As it gets close here, here's the one drop of sulfuric acid. Whoa, you start to see whoa. it take off. It's just amazing. One drop. One drop. And so that would trigger another reaction. And so that's not because of the sulfuric acid, other than that sulfuric acid was just the catalyst for that. Right. Why didn't you let me do that at your wedding? I think both <laughs> of those demos would have been fabulous for the guests. I don't think my wedding planner would have really. I, I'm gone telling you, for that, see, Steve. but uh, you could have just touched it and then <laughs> just like that. Yeah. This is sulfuric acid. It's uh, something that we have a tremendous amount of respect for, but what a great opportunity. Uh, horrible that the accident yeah. happened, but a great opportunity for us as teachers to be able to share some real world things with students. Well, thank you so much, Steve. This has been really interesting. <coughs> this yeah. it smells like s'mores, doesn't yeah, it? It really does not smell great out here.